Calvin in America. So let's first uh, briefly introduce the team. Uh, first, the uh, tea plants are native, native to East Asia, and uh, some uh, tea is original from the China, and maybe is also from the borderlands of North Burma. And uh, in this is some pictures from yeah, some, some pictures about the uh, tea history in China. Uh, this one is a picture from Japan and some this old one is named Shen Long and he is a uh, he is a uh, in age he is a uh, uh, Asian man and to taste some herbal man. And uh, this one is a uh, famous man in Chinese history. His name is Lu Yu. He write a scripture about the tea, the world. And so China Chinese tea has many types. These are the several main types of the tea. Is black tea, green tea, orange tea, and uh, cold blue tea have different tastes. And next, my John will talk about uh, coffee in America. Okay, so it's my turn. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a national drink, coffee. Yeah. So first of all, let's talk about the uh, coffee history. Uh, it is only natural that tradition of coughs was passed from London to the United States. Early American coughs were modeled after the coffee of London. In 1667, the King George III of England fully granted a stamp duty law to raise tax. The, the teachers of sensational <laughs> Boston Tea in sentence in 1773. From that moment, coffee became to the national beverage of the United States. And like Mr. Lawrence in London, coffee in the United States are also a great place to do business and spread information. Even there have conference rooms and lots of things. But the tea still dominated drinks at this time. Yeah. And the second, uh, let's talk about the coffee environment evaluation. Um, from cowboy fine beans in the crisp pan to the French invention of boiling pot. Americans make coffee in the in suffering in suffering ways, but they keep to the fine tradition that good coffee must be freshly roasted. Even during the war, soldiers in the field carried walk and ginger with them into order drink fresh coffee. Yeah. And for now, let's talk about coffee culture products. American coffee shops and Starbucks. The first coffee shop in the United States was London Coffee House, which opened in Boston in 1691. Later, the world's largest coffee shop was born in Boston. It was founded in 1808 and unfortunately destroyed in a fire 10 years later. But nowadays, when you go to many modern cities around the world, you will see a green circle icon with a ima magic of a goddess tell you a miracle of America with a smile. So as we all know, Chinese people maybe don't like drink coffee very much. So why do Chinese people like, co uh, like the tea very much? Um, these are some reasons. Uh, in some in some place, 
T, the Chinese T may, may be a, a sign of the respect. So the younger generation should show their respect to their family members of the older generation by uh, drink a tea with wisdom. And when, when they eat together in the meal, or the, for example, in the Spring Festival Eve, they may be drink the tea at, together and show, show their respect. So, and in many other circumstances, uh, people drink the tea to show their uh, apologize. For example, children who have misbehaved may serve tea to their parents as a sign of regret and submission. And uh, also to show their graduate and celebrate weddings. In the traditional Chinese wet marriage ceremony, the bride and groom kneel in front of their their parents and serve their tea from and then sang to them together. And according according to the tradition, the bride serves the groom's family and the groom serves the bride's family. This is a mutual respect. And this is uh, why coffee are so very famous in the United States. Um, I'm going to talk about coffee culture. Um, in some Western companies, most of they provide free coffee to their employees and workers and customers. In fact, there is a thing in the West and uh, the better the company with better warfare, the strict of the management, the greater workload. Under work street, uh, stress, drinking a cup of coffee is definitely a treat. Gradually mobilized employee work ability, it can be said that it's a big deal to spend a small amount of money. money. And yeah. The United States is the world largest, largest consumer of coffee. And American drink uh, it a lot of anywhere, at home, at school, in the coffee, uh, in public, and anywhere else. It's said that uh, Apollo 16 spacecraft, the first manned mission to the moon, of uh, more fractioned on the way home in the critical moment of life and death. The ground commander confirmed the astronaut on the spacecraft, saying, don't be discouraged. The delicious hot coffee is waiting for you.
300 milligrams. But this kind of caffeine is uh, maybe not maybe not healthy for our body. So Chinese people may drink more tea than coffee to keep our brain uh, active. And also, both tea and coffee are good for our good for our body. But despite all the research, there is still no conclusive answer to which drink is the better health choice based on caffeine levels. Tea might be a lower than coffee. <coughs> and maybe tea is more healthy on the uh, on the <coughs> field of the diet. And I think uh, maybe the coffee is make the uh, make uh, make make someone uh, more uh, make someone brain and his body more active than tea. And the tea and the tea is also good, it's more healthy than the coffee. It is uh, Very good.